Stats Squid. In this video, we'll go over the basics of logistic regression to get a more intuitive idea of what is logistic regression, when to use it, and how to interpret the results. If you're ready, let's dive in. Imagine we have the size of different tumors in cubic millimeters, and we want to figure out whether the tumor is malignant or benign based on size. In summary, we want a math equation where we input the predictor variable size, and it tells us whether the tumor is malignant or benign. Since we're talking about mathematical equations, we need to encode the outcome as a number, since the result will be a numerical value. So let's assign 0 to benign and 1 to malignant. Now, the actual equation will be such that given a tumor size, we will get a number between 0, benign, and 1, malignant. This equation, or model we're looking for, is the logistic regression model. It's basically used when the outcome we want to predict is binary, two values, 0 and 1. There are many examples and uses of logistic regression, but we're going to stick with the tumor size to predict malignancy. Logistic regression is based on, you guessed it, the logistic function, which looks like an S-shaped curve like this one that maps any real valued number into a value between 0 and 1. The logistic function itself looks something like this, but you don't need to worry about that. What's important is that this function will convert your tumor size into a number between 0 and 1, and we know what 0 and 1 mean, 0 benign and 1 malignant. So for example, if the tumor size is 1, the predicted value is 0, the tumor is benign. If the tumor size is 24, the tumor is malignant. But wait a minute, if 0 is malignant and 1 is benign, what does an intermediate value of 0 0.4 or 0 0.8 mean? This is the key about logistic regression. It's basically giving you the probability that the tumor is benign or malignant. The closer to 0, the more probable the tumor is benign. The closer to 1, the more likely the tumor is malignant. So if we have a size of 10, the probability of the tumor being malignant is 0 0.35. So it's probably benign, according to our model at least. So in a way, logistic regression converts a predictor variable into a probability of something happening or not happening. You have simple or multiple logistic regression, depending on if you have one predictive variable or more. For example, we might want to improve our ability to predict malignancy of a tumor by adding the expression level of TP53, um, and a famous oncogene, in our model. So we would build a model using the tumor size and TP53 biomarker expression level as predictors. The model would then estimate the probability of a tumor being malignant based on these features. Now, to build a logistic regression model, we need data. In particular, we need the sizes and TP53 status of many tumors. And we also need to know if those tumors are benign or not. That way, our model can learn from our data. It will assign coefficients to our predictors based on its learning. The coefficients for each predictor tell us the impact of that predictor on the likelihood or probability that the tumor is malignant. For example, a positive coefficient for tumor size suggests that larger tumors are more likely to be malignant, while a negative coefficient for the biomarker expression, TB53, suggests that higher expression levels might be associated with lower malignancy probability. Now, once the logistic regression model is trained, it can be used to predict the malignancy status of new tumors based on their size and the biomarker expression levels. 
the model outputs a probability score, for example 0.38, so we decide that the tumour is benign. This is another important feature of logistic regression. Our model just gives out or just gives us the probability, but we are the ones who decide the threshold we're going to use to classify a tumour as malignant or benign. This is the decision boundary, the point we use to separate the two classes. In this, in this case, it's benign and malignant. Usually the default is 0.5. So if the probability of a given tumour is higher than 0.5, we classify it as malignant. And if it's lower, it's benign. But in many cases, we want a different decision boundary, higher or lower than 0.5. For example, this malignant tumour has a probability of 0.46. With a decision threshold of 0.5, we should classify it as benign. But to be honest, 0.46 is very near 0.5. To make sure we don't misclassify malignant tumours as benign, for example, if we're taking a test at the hospital, we might lower the threshold to 0.3. Now, we might misclassify some benign tumours as malignant, but there's less chance of misclassifying a malignant tumour as benign. Of course, this is all a very simple example. Um, so it's also key to know how good our model actually is, for which we need to look at metrics like accuracy, sensitivity, specificity. But that's a story for another day. Nice, so in summary, logistic regression is a statistical method that is used when we have a binary outcome variable and one or more predictor variables. If you're interested in the math, I would highly recommend the video by Josh Starmer, which goes a bit more into the math behind logistic regression. I'll leave the link in the description below. Otherwise, let me know what you thought of this video and if you'd like to see more videos like this, if you'd like a tutorial on logistic regression in R or Python, do let me know too. Thank you very much for watching. Have a squid-tastic day and see you in the next one.